Sure. Colonel Michael F. Belinky. Uh, it's spelled B-E-L-E-N-K-Y. Sure. So hospital uh, HOSPEX uh, stands for hospital exercise. And for us, it's a validation exercise for our unit as part of Defender 21. Sure. So the purpose of our hosp HOSPEX uh, as part of Defender 21 is to truly validate this unit uh, in our training, uh, training stance as we converted uh, previous this last year from the 212th Combat Support Hospital to the 519th Hospital Center, the 512th Field Hospital, and the 167th Medical Augmentation Detachment. It's our first chance to finally do our collective training and a great chance to train with our partners and uh, our, our sister service in the United States Air Force. So the validation uh, is two parts. So the first is United States Army validation that we uh, are our T in uh, our ability to do our mission essential tasks. And the second part is our NATO evaluation, that we can be certified uh, as a role to enhanced uh, for United States, or excuse me, for the NATO forces. So for this exercise, uh, we have seven different nations that are involved, uh, both in embedded within the hospital and primarily from our, the German Bundeswehr, it's the second Senestat regiment. But we have a total of seven nations uh, that include uh, the nations uh, within NATO uh, for the NATO medical, uh, medical evaluation. Sure. Uh, so this, this exercise in a, in a real life scenario allows us to train uh, what's really our bread and butter and is to receive and treat casualties and to perform and validate that we can do damage control resuscitation, damage control surgery, and then look to, to hold for a period uh, at least 72 hours, if not more, in our intensive care unit, in our uh, intermediate care wards. Uh, so this allows us to do our real world job in a training environment. It allows our nurses, our providers, our medics, our LPNs, our supply uh, personnel, and the entire team to work as one team in a field environment. No, no, not at all. So we, uh, for the exercise, we started this planning uh, easily a year ago. Uh, and then we had a deliberate uh, change, originally going to Hungary and changed around April 3rd to come to Baumholder uh, due to some certain COVID response uh, options and other things going on. Uh, so this is definitely a permanent temporary structure. It can be moved, it can be uh, mobile, and it takes roughly anywhere from one to, to four days from initial operating capability to full operating capability set up. So, yeah, of the hospex. So the main objective uh, for the hospital exercise is to, to validate uh, our post-transformation uh, training with our new equipment and our new personnel structure. So changing from the 212th Combat Support Hospital to three separate units uh, under a force design update, we became the 519th Hospital Center at Mission Command Headquarters, uh, the 512th Field Hospital, a 32-bed uh, Roll 3, and then the 167th Medical Augmentation Detachment, a 32-bed ICU, ICW, uh, and a medical specialty care unit. So it's a chance for us to train as a new, new structure, new equipment, and a new personnel uh, layout uh, post-transformation. Sure. I would say the only thing I would add, um, this has been the first large training exercise we've done is post-COVID. Uh, so it's been a great chance for us, uh, not only to train as a unit, but us for to train with our German partners. From day one, uh, they've been integrated within the staff and been uh, meshed in like, the, like they were naturally assigned uh, teammates uh, from day one. So it's been a great exercise for us and hopefully we can continue this in the future. Yeah. Absolutely. So approximately, so COVID mitigations we have in effect. Uh, we had random temperature checks uh, throughout. Approximately 83% of the unit is vaccinated that came out, out here. Uh, those that were not vaccinated have had pre-COVID tests. They're all negative before we departed. And today we just did their post-COVID test and they're all negative before we depart. 